Hi, this is Russell Robinson, the CEO of the Jewish National Fund, on this very special conversation uh, today. Um, I'm going to come to you, and we wanted to have uh, uh, one of our partners uh, on uh, live, but he's going to be on the phone, and I'm going to introduce you, Diddy, in just a second here. Um, I come to you uh, today, obviously, a day of, uh, of, as we've had for the past uh, uh, nine days and more here in Israel, of uh, trauma, of trauma of watching um, innocent people having to run to shelters because of uh, indiscriminate missiles being sent from Gaza. Uh, but the JNF, the JNF has responded. When I say the JNF, I mean the JNF, meaning the donors across the United States have been responding to our partners in an unbelievable way. Well over a million dollars have been raised by thousands of donors already online. Over $500,000 have been raised. And our lay leadership are making phone calls and talking to people. And our professional staff are, are holding telethons or meeting with people throughout the United States. And we're doing it not as a 911 organization, but as an organization that has been there. An organization that continues to show that is part of the southern part of Israel, the northern part of Israel, of the entire land, the scope, all parts of the land and the people of Israel for all of these years. We have been there yesterday, we are there today, and we'll be there tomorrow. But we have acted. We have provided bomb shelters so that people who were in their homes and moved out by the army because they lived in caravans waiting for their new homes to be built because they didn't have the shelters to provide for their children. We're providing by children having respite during sirens in bomb shelters are people from Green Horizon performing admirably, going down to the south and giving that kind of opportunity to people, taking people who are disabled away from the south and giving them an opportunity to enjoy a day in a park or a forest. We've been providing our firefighters with just a little bit of home cooking, some candy, a little bit of love as they've been working 24 hours responding as the first responders to our people during this crisis. And I want to now go to Yadidia Aruv, who comes from us from Chalutza. Chalutza is a community in which was established six years ago with the help of the Jewish National Fund from people who were evacuated from the Gaza Strip. And when they were evacuated, they decided to put their flag in a piece of land that had never been farmed before. But today they produce carrots and peppers and, and, and strawberries because they understand to love the land is the true ownership of the land. And Yadidia, give us what is happening in Israel today. So it all started off uh, late last night when we got the, the reports from the media that the ceasefire talks uh, have been going on uh, through... Uh, a third, uh, third side uh, partner, uh, which is which is Egypt, and uh, this morning uh, Israel announced that they are accepting from nine o'clock a ceasefire, meaning Israel will not attack Hamas at all. And only about 25 minutes later, siren in the Eshkol region, which is where Halutza is located, went off, and basically from that moment on, uh, the ceasefire uh, was the uh, was never accepted by Hamas. Hamas uh, said to everyone that the, the ceasefire is a joke. And uh, ever since in Israel, we've got over 156 rockets and counting, uh, including cities of Haifa, Tel Aviv, Be'er Sheva, Ashdod, and of course the Halut communities. So, yeah, Didia, give us, because it's hard for all of us to uh, imagine, give us. Uh, uh, what happens in Chalutza? What happens with the family? What? What? Why? Why is a bomb shelter needed? So in Chalutza, which is uh, which you explained uh, uh, very well, um, we have we have new communities, uh, new families, uh, young families, and the new families that live in those uh, mobile homes in uh, caravans, waiting for their permanent homes to be built. Uh, they live, and some of them don't have shelters attached to their house. And we received the rat not from Gaza, but from Egypt, by terrorists who come uh, from Gaza across the border and shoot rockets. 
Uh, only uh, Saturday night, uh, Hamas announced, uh, Hamas published uh, a video uh, on YouTube showing the rockets flying to Halutza. And those families with uh, five or six kids with, uh, from the range from the ages between a year to ten, to ten years, um, they live in those, uh, those caravans and they don't have shelters. And because we get the rockets from Gaza, from, uh, from Egypt, sorry, don't get an alert, the code red, like the rest of the country gets. And we don't have the luxury that the Roth have to have 15 seconds to run to a shelter. We were requested to the, by the IDF to be only five seconds away from a bomb shelter. Wow. That being said, if we don't, that being said, if we don't have it attached to the house, the family cannot sleep there. And it's a real danger. So uh, up until now, the fact that they've been sleeping uh, in the kindergartens. By the way, one of these kindergartens were, was donated by a, a, by Judge Ashan Fan, by a person from uh, Washington, D.C., Baruch Fellner and his wife, uh, Karen. And uh, this uh, kindergarten, which is a bomb, bomb shelter kindergarten, uh, is, is saving lives in the at the moment. But we all understand that you cannot really stay for um, more than one or two days in the kingdom. It's not, it's not a real life. So you did it. Thank you. You were also, you did something the other day, and if you could tell us very quickly, you you were uh, at our stay road, the JNF Stay Road Indoor Playground. Uh, you were hosting uh, people from the press. Uh, give us a story that happened there, and I know a great article, a lot of articles, but one from USA Today, but give us uh, a little vignette of that, your own experience there. So, as, as we all know, the, the steroid indoor playground these days is overfilled with kids that could, uh, from the steroid, from steroid and the entire South, come to steroid to enjoy um, some normalcy during these crazy days. And I was asked to come to the playground to speak for 40 uh, from all over the world. And then we got there and you saw the kids and the media at the beginning, little, uh, understand what it is, what this place is, and as, as I speak and explain about this amazing place that allows ki allow kids to be just kids, like all over the world, uh, the siren went off and, uh, and all the media were, were amazed by how these kids could play even though the rockets are flying above their head, not having to worry about anything. And the next day, obviously, it became like a big story in, the, in, the, in all of the media that came and um, and it's just uh, fascinating how JNF makes a difference in every Israeli life on a daily basis. I want to thank you, Didi. I know that it's getting late in Israel and you're with your family. Again, all of us on the special report of uh, Google Hangout from the CEO of JNF, I want to thank you and your family. I want you to please send from all of us uh, uh, the, the hundreds of thousands of donors, of partners, uh, to the people of Israel, our own prayers for pre peace, uh, our, our really a hug and a, and a family hug to each and every member of your family and to our extended family throughout Israel, and know that we are there with you. Uh, we will be there as we were yesterday. We are going to be with you today. We're going to be there tomorrow. We're going to have a special mission that's going to be coming uh, to Israel. Uh, it'll be on jnf.org, uh, and it'll be leaving on uh, July the 27th, they'll be arriving in Israel, uh, a special real unity L'chaim mission, because uh, we are going to keep celebrating to life. And Yadidia, know that we're with you. I'm sorry we couldn't get you right on the Google Hangout. We'll get you on the next one. But thank you for being with us and uh, from all of us at Jewish National Fund, a prayer for pre peace, hope for the future. We know that it's L'chaim and we're going to be celebrating together, together, together. So thank you very much. Russell, Russell, thank you so much for this very, very warm words. I want to just tell all of our family in JNF, I'm sorry, the siren just went off, in, uh, the siren just went off and I had to hang up, uh, but uh, I have another uh, 30 seconds. As I'm running down the stairs, the siren went off here in uh, our community. But I wanted to tell you guys that, um, that I appreciate you give us a lot of strength. All right. You guys you give us a lot of strength with, with, your, um, with your support. The siren went off again. I'm so sorry. I have okay. To I we're we're with you. Go to, to safety. Go to safety, Didier. Thank you.
Thank you all for joining us today, and please be a part of making a difference. Be a part. <laughs>